Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant, welcome back to the channel. Of course, we're in the middle of Bundesliga Team of the Season, but we are getting new TOTS cards in packs today, as the EFL TOTS are going out of packs, and coming into packs is a Saudi League Team of the Season that is going to include a Cristiano Ronaldo Team of the Season card. Yes, it is confirmed, it is leaked. We're going to take a look through the other leaks for cards that will be dropping on this game today and potentially some objective or SBC content as well. And of course, we can't talk about this game right now without talking about the market. I took my biggest ever loss on FIFA 23 on the market yesterday with some of the prices on this game crashing even further. I want to talk about why this is still happening and if it's going to continue to happen. And of course, what we talked about yesterday as well, the 90 plus icon pack was not dropped yesterday. So guess what? It's probably coming today. We'll talk about that and once again a great opportunity to invest for that SBC. There's a lot to talk about today. If you're excited for the video, drop a thumbs up on it and of course subscribe if you are new. Now really quickly, let's look at yesterday's content on Saturday. It was a pretty slow day but not that slow of a day in terms of prices that were impacted. First of all, Serge Gnabry, four star, four star. Unfortunately, no boost on the Serge Gnabry card here. We would have loved to have a five star skill move boost maybe to offset Royce having the five star weak foot. It is a nice stat upgrade over his World Cup Path to Glory card which was his most recent special item it is a really good card guys and it's not that expensive right two squads to get it done 86 and 88 which seems like really high ratings for an SBC like this but when you factor in that fodder is so cheap and this only costs you 180k I mean that actually seems like an L to a lot of people I think that's why some people are put off by the price of this SBC because it's 180k and it just seems like you're turning in so much but exactly the fact is fodder is so cheap that 86 and 88s don't actually cost that much but nonetheless um, I think this SBC just doesn't hit like super special like the Royce did yesterday or uh, sorry on Friday. This SBC is definitely cool and it's one that if you're running a bonus league squad, you're probably going to want to get this guy in the team. But I just think it, it's missing out on that special sauce, whether it's a five star skill move upgrade, five star weak foot even. I feel like this card on the market with how cheap the bonus league tots cards are right now, it probably would be like 100,000 coins, maybe even less, maybe like 75k. So that's why this SBC price I think is underwhelming to most but again not a bad card buying links german links so pretty good sbc there to craft during this upcoming week of upgrade packs we also had the touch challenge five and like we saw a couple of weeks ago on a saturday during community and air to busy tots this um, gave out a tradable pack and we even mentioned it really quickly in yesterday's video um, this is a tradable pack that impacts the market every single week when it drops is tradable i think last week during prem uh, it was untradable, so it didn't actually move the market. But if you give everybody a tradable 8 bonus league of players pack, when all of these TOTS cards are in packs, what are you going to have happen? You're going to have team of the season cards that are packed and that drop in value from this SBC. Everybody's doing that SBC, right? Because it gives you XP to move forward inside of the season swaps rewards. And this Slaughterback yesterday is a perfect example of a card with a very high pack weight. Not that everybody was packing good stuff from this. Like most people are not going to pack, you know, Team of the Season cards. But there, that chance is there. And these cards are in packs. And there's, of course, a full squad of Bundesliga cards in packs. The low tier, especially yesterday, felt the weight of this SBC big time because it was tradable. Look at Slaughterback from 63k. I was able to sell mine up here and you know, basically for a couple thousand coins profit from last night's buy where we got him like right here. But he went from 63k all the way to 30 9,000 coins where he is right now. A lot of the low tier players in this team were impacted a lot by that SBC dropping the tradable supply on the market. And I'm sure there were other Bundesliga like fodder cards and stuff like that that were impacted too. But that's where your low tier price drops, uh, that's why those were taking place yesterday is because you had so much tradable supply onto the market. And man, you just look at these cards, you say like this Schlatterback for 38,000 coins being this cheap, like, it's crazy, right? And that's also part of the reason why the whole rest of the market is crashing right now as well. And I want to talk about it, guys, because like I said in the intro, I took my biggest loss of FIFA 23 this year, yesterday. I bought this Salah during Premier League team this season on, I think, Wednesday it was, for 2.6 million coins, thinking that as Premier League team and season cards like almost always do, I thought it would rise out of packs because there's so much hype with Prem Tots. 
and those players, but instead the exact opposite has happened and I did not sell way earlier uh, than I should have. I sold way later than I should have. He, I sold him for 1.8 mil. He's even cheaper now. So I lost over 900,000 coins on this Mohamed Salah card, my biggest loss of the year. I know a lot of you guys are losing coins as well, and it hurts to lose coins. It always does. But I want to talk a little bit about why this is happening and also how we didn't expect this. Uh, and also looking backwards in hindsight, you're always going to be like, man, I should have I should have known, right? I should have known that these cards were not going to go up in price, but it's never a thing where you really know, right? It's kind of one of those things where you kind of figure it out as it's happening. Let me remind you guys, this is still the first ever year of a cross-platform market between P PlayStation and Xbox, this is a new market still that we're learning new trends in, in this part of the year even, because this is the first year where it's all been one market, and we've had both of those player bases on one market. But I think one of the reasons why this market is crashing so much right now is we are seeing absolutely juiced cards dropped every single week on this game, and they're cheap. I mean, look at these team of the season cards. We saw it last week with Premier League, right? What did we call it last week? A price correction on the entire market where a lot of old out-of-pack special cards fell in value because Premier League Tots cards were pretty juiced, right? Not most, not the most insanely juiced cards. We wanted some higher ratings, but they were really cheap. And a part of that, that just makes everybody want to use the new cards that are pretty good um, in stats, right? And an upgrade over maybe what they had in their team. And when they are this cheap, you know, that's really going to correct the market and what we're seeing right now is in my opinion a continuation of that i mean jude bellingham is the best midfielder on this game the best midfielder on this game and in a day where he goes from seven eight point six million coins all the way down to five point one mil he's rebounding back up a little bit these cards are very volatile as well if you tie in the flips right there are some really big coins to be made here but when a, the best midfielder in the game is only five million coins you know, no wonder you've got cards like Yaya Torre Trophy Titans, who was 3.5 mil, going down to 2.5 mil. No wonder you have the Dinosaur Extinct Trophy Titans R9 finally on the market at 12 million coins. This guy has been extinct for weeks, and he finally comes onto the market yesterday after people are selling this stuff because they want to go out and buy Team of the Seasons who have similar or even better stats and they are you know absolutely insane cards and they're not even that expensive right that's the combination juiced cards and cheap prices look at Kimmich for 400k that's a cracked out card Musiala for 2 million coins you saw my transfer this item Musiala that I sold at 2.8 yesterday he was 3 million coins and Kunku was 11 mil on Friday and here he is right now at 4.9 and he's actually up a lot and Kunku as I told you these guys fluctuate was 4.2 mil these fluctuations are crazy and especially when people see prices doing this they panic sell and cards get undercut and some cards do get very cheap but with how juiced specifically this Bundesliga team of the season side is it's really impacting prices on the top tier now you might be like Nate some of my cards haven't even dropped in value at all it's like the cards that are impacts from Bundesliga team of the season and the cards that are the most top tier on this game are what are taking the biggest hits in price. It's mostly cards that people have to buy for their team, right? Apart from yesterday's kind of low tier Bundesliga supply, like the Schlotterbecks and stuff like that, the drop because they just got packed, right? You know, the higher tier cards that people had to buy for their team that did not get pack pulled by most people like Salah, like Rashford, like Erling Holland from Premier League team of the season, those are the cards that are down the most because people are selling those to go try out the new cards because they're so cheap and they're still so insane. But like with that Bruno Guimaraes that we're just looking at there, he's barely moved or Harry Kane is still like 150 or 160,000 coins. It's because not too many people even have to go sell this card because they have it untradeable in their team and or it's not a card they feel like is worth selling because they feel like it is worth the price. I think that's why you're seeing the biggest market correction on the top tier. A lot of your top tier icons for you guys that have coins, millions of coins, and you have some of those big time players. Those cards are what are dropping off the most because those are the cards that people are selling to go try out these brand new Team of the Season cards because they're just super juiced and they're so cheap. And just one quick word, I don't want to belabor this point because I know talking about the market when you're losing coins, it's never a fun thing. But one quick word I'll say is it always hurts to lose coins, but there are coins always to be made on this game. Always, right? Today is another one of those opportunities. We're going to look at some investments for today in multiple different areas. And again, like I mentioned, I bought a couple of cards today in a low point and I'm seeing 
seeing their fluctuations rise back up a little bit. You know, last night I did take the big L on Salah, but you saw me also buy Kimmich on the video for 505k, sold him for 610. I bought a Delict for 1.5 mil. He is now back, uh, I sold him at 1.9, but now he's back down to 1.4. Not saying I'm going to buy this card right now because I think he's going to go back up to 1.9. I really doubt that that's going to happen, but there are still opportunities to make coins on this game every single day. So if you're upset about losing coins, it's okay. I was really mad for about 30 minutes yesterday after I sold the Salah card and I was like, bro, I just got my biggest loss of FIFA 23. This sucks, right? But I quickly moved on because I realized I still have coins. I'm going to make some coins. If you have even 10K, you can make coins in this game. So even if you lost coins yesterday, keep the head up because there are more positive price movements ahead and we can still make coins. And there's still a lot of content to come during team of the season to present opportunities to make coins. So moving on a little bit further, what I want to do is look at today on Sunday, potentially with those coin making opportunities by looking at the cards that are going to be coming into packs today. First of all, these EFL TOTS cards going out of packs, I don't think I would really invest in them. I know Akpom, Tella, Joao Pedro, Brownhill, those top four guys do look a little interesting, especially like Akpom is really rare. They've all had good price fluctuations. A couple of them are English, Brazilian, Joao Pedro. So they could have a little bit of a rise in price, but I'm not really, you know, expecting many of those since zero TOTS cards basically have risen out of packs. Um, why would those be the first to do so? So I don't think that's going to happen. But let's talk about the new cards that are coming into packs today. We have some leaks, and these leaks aren't necessarily like brand new. We've seen them over the past day or so. But the biggest leak of them all is Cristiano Ronaldo being in this team. This is the official team of Saudi League Team of the Season players. Now, also, when I mention this, um, it's a small team, right? It's very similar to Eredivisie, where there were only eight cards in packs. There were no moments cards. There was a couple of SBCs during Eredivisie, but that was about it. I mean, the EFL TOTS team last week was more players, and I'm wishing that this team would be more players as well, but it looks like it's just going to be this small select list here. You've got Ronaldo, Talishka, Romarinho, Igalo, and some cards that are really going to link to each other pretty nice with some of these Brazilian links in the Saudi league and i think that's where there's going to be a lot of hype today now we've seen the saudi tots cards be very hyped before i remember i packed red romarino i think it was two years ago in uh in fifa 21 and that was a really cracked card the talishka the anderson talishka toss that we had last year was absolutely cracked and i'm hyped for this team today just because of the opportunity that they could juice it like they juiced the efl remember last sunday when we saw the efl tots we were like oh my goodness ea sports you have juiced the heck out of these cards I hope they do the same thing today with the Saudi League team of the season. And it all starts with Ronaldo, right? What's Ronaldo's rating going to be? What are his stats going to be? 96 is shown here as a prediction, right? These are all predicted stats. I think 95 or 96 for Ronaldo, you know, he's going to be the pack seller today, right? It's kind of crazy to think Ronaldo getting a team of the season. It's the pack sellers, guys. That's that's what this is for, to sell the packs, to sell the FIFA points. And it's, I mean, who really doesn't want a Ronaldo team of the season, whether it's deserved or not? We, we are happy that we have a Sun team of the season moments. We're happy we have a Mane five-star skill team of the season moments, right? Bring us the Ronaldo team of the season, EA. Bring it today. Juice it up. Give it good stats. Maybe make it even five-star, five-star. Give it a weak foot boost on the Christian Ronaldo. And it could be a really insane Saudi League team of the season. Now, some of these guys are going to be really cheap as well. Hegazi, they're going to have to give him a massive pace boost. Igalo, he needs to get a pace boost as well. They're going to have to upgrade some skill move and weak foot on this stuff. But there's going to be hype for these guys today. There was hype last week for the EFL TOTS. So just keep an eye out for that sort of stuff. Now, what's going to move today, right, on the market because of that? Saudi cards are not that easy to link. But there's a little bit of a, I guess, cheat code, you could say. EA have kept an SBC. You may have forgotten about it. You may have already done this. But this SBC has been available in this game for, like, I don't even know, like, 80 days at this point. But Al Jaber's Fantasy Foot Heroes card, 90 rated, is an SBC that is still available in this game, and he is going to be very nice for linking new Saudi Tots cards in any sort of squad that you want to use him with or use them with. He's only an 86 squad with two 88s. You put in a team of the week, and you put in two 88 team of the season players, and you're getting this done with 83s and 84s in the rest of the side. Very easy to do, and it's going to be a very nice card to help link together maybe some of those Saudi Tots cards that would drop on the game today. So watch out for that. And of course, you have to talk about Aloe Wayron, right? It's not easy to link 
uh, some of these Saudi cards, but Alouarin is going to be somebody that a lot of people have invested in, whose card price went up, but is now kind of back down. He's right around 380k, 372 actually at this moment. He was 400k before the market really started to dip off. This card would definitely be down more if it weren't. Uh, for Saudi League Tots incoming. So just keep an eye on this card today. Keep an eye on some of your other Saudi League links. Maybe like the fantasy version of this card as well, even though it's it was 3 million coins. I don't even know how much it is now with the market being where it is. 2.86. So he's not down that much either with the hype of the Saudi League Tots incoming. So that's going to be a big part of today. Now we could see an SBC or objective player related to Saudi uh, Tots today as well. We've got Luis Gustavo, another Brazilian. Uh, I know Brazilian managers are extinct. But I think Brazilian links are also going to be pretty important because you can see here we've got Talichka, Romarinho, Marcelo Grohe, and then you've got a objective Luis Gustavo with the Al Nasser links. That could be a really nice card, either if it's an objective or an SBC. If you're going to run any of these cards in your team, that would be one that would help out a ton. So I'm excited for this. If it drops today or if it drops later in the week, that could be a really nice card that you could very do for cheap, very easily do for cheap and uh, put in your team to link together with those cards. So definitely keep an eye out for that. Now, the big SBC we talked about yesterday is also going to bring some hype to this game as well. The 90 plus icon pack, and it's going to bring hype because people have been asking for an icon pack for a long time, and that's an SBC that we have wanted on this game, and it's probably coming today. If it doesn't come today, people are going to be even more upset, but with that being said, what we talked about in last night's video in terms of fodder is absolutely coming true. Prices are lower today into the beginning of Sunday on fodder because they dropped during the day yesterday as we did not have a big icon pack. You've got 84s under 3,000 coins, 85s under 6, 86s in the low 8k range now once again i'll tell you this today for this icon pack you know we think about 88 89 maybe 90 rated squads and that might put some people off of doing this icon pack because they'll see wait a 90 rated squad requirement in this icon pack which i think is very possible for today given the current state of the price of sbc fodder on this game i mean this surge nabber you would think this would be like what an 85 and an 86 rated squad well again what is it an 86 and an 88 but it's because fodder is so cheap i do believe in in that manner some of your 91s could go up today we could see a 90 rated squad requirement which could make some of your 91s maybe some of your 92 rated team of the season cards like full krug kobel Tadic, they could go up a little bit today just because of a high rated squad requirement so i would look at that part of the fodder market but still at the same time I would be very interested in my 84s to 86s. That feels like the safest play of the week just because this is the only SBC dropping today, this Icon pack that would make 90s and 91s move most likely. All the SBCs that could drop throughout the rest of this week of Bundesliga Tots, if they drop like, you know, the 8111 Bundesliga, which is going to probably come out tomorrow on Monday, and some of the other, maybe if they drop like a player pick or some sort of other uh, 85.5 SBC, which they do sometimes during Tots to drop, you know, packs that we could do to try to pack team of the seasons. More so for those SBCs, the lower tier fodder would be needed, which is why I like the 84 to 86 investments still. Maybe you focus on 86s if you're specifically investing for the icon pack today. Maybe you'll look more in that realm, in that range. But that could be another catalyst for the market today that hurts a few prices uh, just because people are going to do an icon pack and maybe sell some cards to go and do that icon pack. So be very careful with prices on this market today. Uh, there might be some fluctuations that you could trade with. Like I'm going to try to get a Kimmich again. Uh, I'm trying to get him under 400k. He was just 399, actually sitting on the market at 399. And now he's risen up about 5,000 coins because uh, he's, he's beginning to get a, a bit rare. And I think that's a card that will once again rise up in price a little bit today. I'm going to try to stick to the guys that did well for me in the past two days. Delict is 1.45 again. He's getting pretty low. He's also pretty rare. Um, so just be careful trading with this Bundesliga team of the season cards. They probably will have a bit of a rise into the early hours today on Sunday, but then I could also see them dropping right back down again as we head into the content time and as we maybe get that icon pack, we get new team of the season cards in packs today with the Saudi League. And uh, yeah, it's going to be an interesting day to on, on this game nonetheless with everything that is going on in all of the moving parts. So I'm keeping my coins pretty liquid at the moment. I still have about 9.2 mil, 9.3 million coins. So yes, I did hit 10 mil last week. I am down. We did make some coins. Also did a 500k pack. 
and uh, spend some coins on upgrade packs last week. So, I mean, I'm not down horrendous. We've been making coins at the same time, but I completely understand a lot of you guys are losing coins at the moment and it sucks, right? It really does. Um, Prem Tots cards just not rising at all, but that's just kind of the way this game is running at the moment because the power curve has just been boosted up so much with these Tots cards. That's one thing I didn't mention earlier is that, think about this, guys. During the earlier promos that was happening this earlier on this year, remember during Foot Birthday when we were disappointed with the stat boost on these cards? Remember Darwin Nunez's um, Foot Birthday was just simply like a plus one overall it just had the five-star weak foot and the five-star skills on the two different versions over his ones to watch that was dropped in basically the beginning of this game, right? We were disappointed with the skill boost and we were like, guys, the power curve on this game has barely been updated since the World Cup mode, right? Well, what is happening right now is we are seeing the power curve absolutely explode as all of these cards are absolutely insane. And when you have a, a center back, that looks like this for 38,000 coins or or if you have I don't even know what else is a good example out of this team like you know the 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 Goretzka car Goretzka is club 90 90s in every single stat and he's only 800k like that's ridiculous in its own right on a higher tier budget from that sort of standpoint so another reason why the market is crashing so much is the power curve has gone up so much with these team of the season cards and once again they are cheap so people are going out and buying these and they're selling other cards that they had in their team to do so because these cards are just super cracked. And of, of course, they're the most hyped. And that's what everybody wants to use right now, too, because we are inside of team of the season. So watch the market carefully today. Make some investments on fodder if you would like to. And if you see fodder prices spike today on the higher tier, like those 88s to the 91s, if you see those fodder prices spike today, I would take the coins with that SBC hype and I would not try to hold on for too much longer because especially in the high tier, it's going to get supplied even more with more TOTS cards coming onto this game today. So high tier fodder, quick flip it today, low tier fodder. You can probably continue to hold during the week for some potential further rises. I'm going to try to pick up a couple of Kimmage right here at 400K if I possibly can. And we'll see if he rises a bit into today on this game. So if you enjoyed the video today, guys, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan for the account. I'll see you guys on a stream today. Peace.